Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again. Today I will be teaching you some methods on solving radical equations. So firstly, there's there's not actually any you know, um concrete method or um a rule set of rules when it comes to solving for radical equation. Okay, the only goal that we would want here is just one. We want to eliminate the radical. Okay. We want to eliminate the radical sign. And we eliminate the radical sign by applying the concept of MPE or just simply getting the square root. I, I mean, um, placing an exponent on both sides of the equation. For example, I have the square root. For me to eliminate the square root, I want to put um, an exponent that is equal to the index within my radical. And the index here by default is 2 if there is nothing written. So, I would want to put a square there so that the radical will be eliminated. Take note, it's eliminated meaning it would be gone. The only thing that would be left would be the number inside. Okay? Say I have cube root. I want to eliminate the cube root. I, I would get the, um, the cube of this given um, expression. Cancel the radical. Therefore, what would be left is just the number inside. So, that is our goal. And remember, when it comes, we are solving equations. And when it comes to equation, we have a note here. Whatever you do, how do you wrong spelling? Whatever you do on the left side, you do on the, let's use the left hand side, you also do on the right hand side. So whatever you do on the left hand side, do also on the right hand side. So for example, we have this given expression. I have the square root of x is equals to 2, okay? And I want to solve for the unknown, which is, of course, x. Our main goal is to eliminate the radical. So, meaning, I need to get the... Let me just um, expand the x equation a little bit. I want to get the square of this one, so that this would be eliminated. And what would be left would be just simply x, okay? But then again, the rule would be, whatever you do on the left-hand side, you also do on the right-hand side. So, I will get also the square of the right-hand side. But instead of canceling anything, what happens is when you are squaring a number, or may it be a squaring a letter, the exponent is given to the number or the letter. And in, ca and in this case, if it is a number, you will express the given as, of course, the rules when it comes to exponent. So, this would be 2 times 2, twice to itself. Okay? So, this would give us 4. So, another example first of all, let's see. Got x squared again, equals to say, um, no, let's say x cubed, okay? Say we have um, 4, okay? So, what would happen here is if I want to eliminate the radical, I would get the cube root of this given exponent that is equal to the index. So, I will cancel that. What we would be left would be x. But then again, I would also do that to the other side, the right hand side, which is I would also get the cube. But the cube will give me not 4 times 3, ah, not 4 times 3, this is very wrong. What would happen would be 4 times 4 times 4, thrice to itself. And the answer there would be 64. Okay? Now again class, whatever is inside your radical, that would be cancelled out. So for example, I have, I, I mean that would be um, the term that would be left. Okay, say we have x plus 1 is equals to 2. Okay, so I want to eliminate this one, so I would get the square of both sides. So meaning, this would be cancelled out, and whatever is left inside, that would be the number or the term that would be copied down here. So it would be x plus 1. Okay, take note, in, uh, I always tell you this one, um, do not um, remove unless you are evaluating it. Okay, unless you are evaluating x plus 1, do not remove it. Okay. So, I am only cancelling. So, therefore, what is left should be written as a whole. Okay? Do not remove plus 1. Okay? Then, we have equals. 2 squared is simply 4. And then, again, our aim here is solving radical equations. Meaning, we are solving for the unknown. And just like what I always tell you guys, if you want to solve for the unknown, solve for the unknown. Leave it alone. Okay? So, meaning, you need to remove the plus 1. And when removing plus 1, transposing to the other side, it would become minus. 
Okay? So, therefore, giving you an answer of 3. And the same goes, if I would have, say, this kinds of example, wherein I would have my radical, and I would have a number outside. Okay? So, the best way to tackle this kinds of equation is by transferring first this um, expression, this plus 3. Why? Because if I would try to get the, the, ex, um, the what do you call this? Uh, if I would try to raise both sides by the, the index of the radical, which is 2, okay? This, this would be the only thing that will be eliminated. But this one, it will not be. Because there's no radical with 3. So, meaning the best way to tackle this kinds of expression is by transferring first this plus 3. Okay? So, I will put a note here on the side. That when, um, that, um, getting, uh, get, raising the expression, uh, raising, okay. Raising the entire equation by the index should only be done be done if there is only the radical if there is only the radical expression on the other side so in short our, my, my main goal my main goal here is to tell you guys that you will only um, raise the, ex the entire equation, raise the entire equation by the index if and only if, okay, if and only if the radical is alone on the one side of the equation. Okay, so in this case, the radical is not alone. The radical is with plus 3. If you, if you may ask, sir, what if our case is like this? x plus 3 is equals to 4. The radical is already alone. Why? Because there's only one radical covering the entire right i left equation okay so in this case you should get the um you should raise the entire equation but in these cases if the radical is uh, it's not covering the entire left it's not covering the entire left equation then please do not get the um the exponent of both sides first the raising of the both sides okay so this one would transfer to the other side for minus three first Leaving you with 4 minus 3, of course, that is 1. And then, since the radical is already covering the entire left equation, then now I can get the square of both sides. Leaving us with x is equals to 1. Again, just to uh, simplify what I wrote there, you will only raise the equation to the index, to the number of the index, if and only if, the radical is covering the entire um, the entire side of the equation. Okay? So, for example, I have another one. Square root of x minus 4 is equals to 0. In this case, again, guys, the radical is not covering the entire equation. It's only covering the x. So, meaning everything must be transferred first on the other side. Leaving us with the square root of x is equals to 4. Get the square now because it's already along. Okay? So, it will give us with x is equals to 16. Okay? So, I hope that you got that. Okay? Because um, that would be uh, mostly the confusing case if there would be um, another term that is outside the radical. Okay? So, let's have another one. What if, sir, the given is a fraction? Say, so I have um, square root of x is equals to 2 fifths. What if the given is like this, sir? So, the same goes. You ask yourself. Is the given already in ano? Um, is the given is the radical already alone on one side? Then if yes, you do the squaring. Okay, so this would leave us with x is equals to. How do we express this given? We express this given the same goes as what we do in our whole numbers. So in if this would be uh, the the number inside, this would be two fifths times two fifths. And 2 fifths times 2, two fifths would give us 4 over 25. I hope fraction is easy to you guys. Because you're already in grade 9. Okay? Ayan. Okay, so let's, let's give something more um, on the complicated side. Say we have um, this one. 2x is equals to 7. 
square root of 2x is equal to 7. So then again, if the radical covers the entire side of the equation, you can now perform the raising of the entire given. So let's raise the entire given by 2 because it's already covering the left side of the equation. Okay? So it will leave us with 2x is equals to 7 times 7 times 7 is 49. And lastly, what do we need to do? x still has something beside it, right? Kasi sabi ko nga kanina, when solving for the unknown, you leave it alone. So we will transpose this times 2 to the other side, leaving us with 49 divided by 2. Since we cannot divide this one because 49 is not an even number, then our final answer would be this one. x is equal to 49 over 2. Okay? Let's have another example. Um, say we have... Okay, say we have x plus 5 is equals to 20, I'm oh, sorry, not 25, is equals to 5, okay? So what would happen here would be, I will raise the given by 2 because it's already covering the entire side of the equation, leaving at us with x plus 5 is equals to 25. Why? Because 5 times 5 or 5 squared is 25. Then again, x still has something beside it, leave the unknown alone leaving us with 25 minus 5 and finally our given would be x is equals 20 if you evaluate 25 minus 5 okay next one let's have another example and let's have the la last two examples 5 square root of x plus 2 is equals to um, 6 yeah. so we have this given so, what do we do in this given? Again, if the entire radical is not covering, uh, if the radical is not covering the entire equation, because you will notice that there is still a 5 here outside, then transpose first that given. And by, you know, um, by just simply observing a given, if there is no operation in mathematics and it's besides something, it's by default multiplication. So, if we transpose this one to the other side, it would be division by division. Okay? So, let's transpose the given. So, it will leave us, oh, sorry. It will leave us with square root of x plus 2 is equals to 6 over 5. And having this 6 over 5, we just simply need to get the square because it's already covering, the radical is already covering the entire equation, side of the equation. So, cancel, cancel, leaving us with x plus 2 is equals to 36 over 25. And finally, transpose the plus 2, leaving us with 36 over 25 minus 2. Okay, if you would be asked, of course, to evaluate this one, this would be equals to, um, using your calculators, let's just use manual. This is equals to minus 50 over 25. This would be equals to um, 36 minus 50, the answer is, I think, 14. Negative 14 over 25. Okay? So this would be our final answer. Okay? That is evaluating up until the, ano, up until the um, simplest form. And last example, let's have something a little bit complicated. Um, say we have um, okay, so 2 square root of x minus 7 um, is equals uh, plus 4 and plus 4 is equals to 9. Say we have this given. So what would happen here would be, of course, we transpose all the numbers that is not within or inside the radical. And which one should we transfer first? The times 2 or plus 4? So by the trans the, in the slight rule, the rules of transposition, though it's a little, a little bit informal, we transpose the plus 4 first. Okay. So leaving us with 2 square root of x minus 7 is equal to 9 minus 4. And 9 minus 4 would give you simply 5. Okay? And we have 2 square root of x minus 7. Transposing again this times 2 will leave us with square root of x minus 7 is equal to 5 over 2. And lastly, what would happen would be we get the square of both sides because again, the radical is already alone, leaving us with x Minus 7 is equals to 25 over 4. 
And finally, transpose minus 7, leaving us with 25 over 4 plus 7. Okay, and if we will try to add this one, let's have let's have addition of fractions so that it, we would be reminded. 25 over 4 plus, um, I think this would be 28. Yeah, 28 over 4. Okay, so leaving us with 53 over 4. And this would be your final answer. Now, again, this might sound confusing, but then again, you just have to go back to your, ano, to your fractions, addition of fractions, okay? So, that would be it regarding the um, radicals. So, let me just remind you again with something, okay, that our main goal here is to cancel the radical. But you cannot ra cancel the radical if the radical is with something, or say the radical is not covering the entire side of the equation. Okay? And lastly, whatever you do on the left side, you also do on the right side. Okay? So, if you have any other questions, you can go back to our video. And you can chat me in our chat, chat group. Uh, thank you everyone again for listening. And Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.